Declan, I suppose your initial thoughts after an epic battle? Ash were absolutely over the moon, like it was a serious titanic struggle at times there trying to get over the line. But like just short sheer elation now at this stage it's should we say it's a dream come true every year, but it really is like I suppose uh, a lot of work and time and effort and commitment goes into it that it makes today like I suppose so so special for our group and we've created something really, really strong now in the last few years and I suppose very proud of the boys and how they dug deep there at the end because they had to like I mean Kenny came at us with absolutely everything and we had to be I suppose relentless in everything we try to do for a finish but just she's um, over the moon now for absolutely everybody I suppose we were dealt a few blows throughout the year and even last week with Keane I suppose that uh, I suppose the group just rallied together and just I don't know just out of near sheer stubbornness nearly got us over the line like yeah, that stubbornness, the response to the Kilkenny goals, every time they got a goal, I think Limerick got the first score back every time. So it was kind of, you know, eating in straight away to that to those goals. It, that, that, a huge testament to the character. I suppose, yeah, I mean, there, when everyone can see the goal, you're trying to get the next score. It doesn't always happen, but again, our bench came on, like, and they were just immense, like, Reedy and Peter Boyle and Cahill, like, they all came in there and just, it's just a case to get them the ball when they get onto the pitch and, you know, they drove us out of line as they did in the semi-final as well, but I don't know, I'm just delighted now. Now, Declan, Kilkenny, you know, you were well on top at times in the first half. You looked like you were going to pull away, but they kept in the game. They kept plugging away at it, and you, you could never say you were safe at any stage. So, while obviously disappointed from a Kilkenny point of view, mm. huge credit to Limerick that they were able to answer Kilkenny every time Kilkenny got a score. Limerick came back and got one, and just kept their... It also got level a couple of times, but mm. Limerick were always that little bit ahead. Yeah, I suppose we built up a couple of leads, maybe of five, six, seven points at times throughout the first half and into the second half, but sure, Kilkenny haven't won... So many in our, all Ireland's by just rolling over, like you know, they're just relentless, as I said, and they keep going and keep going and keep going. And they came with everything, like, and we were under savage pressure, like, they were just winning balls they shouldn't be winning, and we weren't winning balls we should have been winning. But this testament to Kilkenny, that's, that's why they are the team they are and the team they have been over the last forever, like, I suppose, uh, and why they've won so much. But, like, we've learned a lot from Kilkenny as well, looking at how they play and the sheer intensity that they bring to games. It's just relentless stuff from them and the physicality and obviously the skill they have, like, it was never going to be an easy game today and I think lads are knackered there at the minute like, but just overjoyed as well and Martin Keown got the second goal in the, in the second half what were your thoughts at that stage? I'm sure it's like anything it's just going out to get the next puck out like, and reset and get, get going again I mean it was hurling is such a fast fast game that if you're worried about the score that just went in sure two or three more scores will have gone in over your head in the next two minutes like so sure, the goals are going to happen in games just, just, just the way it goes sure, we got a goal there early on and Kenny responded as well so stay in flow of the game No, I wouldn't. I suppose the big thing was just in 2019, not that we weren't ready for the physicality of Kilkenny, but it just rocked us early on, like, and we were constantly playing catch up. Um, so I suppose having that under our belt from 2019 stood to us, but it wasn't the whole pile of talk about it, to be honest. There probably, like, it was three years ago as well, a lot, a lot has probably changed in those years, and different people have come in and out of panels. So, like, next year again, it'll just be totally different if the teams meet. So, uh, but maybe from the physicality point of view, we might have been more honed in on it. Uh, sure, like, I don't know, like, I mean, in all our finals, if we're there, it's, sure, we don't choose who we play, like, you know what I mean, it is, whoever it is, we have to try and beat them, but I suppose Kilkenny are, you know, you know have been, and we're probably still out the king pins and, pins and hurling, so, I suppose maybe for other people who've questioned Limerick over the years, that they, they haven't beaten Kilkenny to win all Ireland, maybe it'll quieten a few people that way, I think, but for us, we're just, whoever we're playing, it's try and give a performance and win the game. Ah, today was, I think today was unbelievable. Like it was just, uh, the intensity of the game, it was just, I'd say, I don't know what it was like to watch, but on the field it felt like a real physical game, like ebbing and flowing. And the crowd were in it from start to finish, like maybe the last few years we, you know, built up leads, I suppose, and maybe the games were over earlier. But even the noise there, like, I'm amazed and having a full house back in Crow Park, like, you'd, oh, so you'd miss it so much. Like, we thought last year the noise was good, but it was like, there was a dove, an extra level again today. Like, I can see the, the colour all around the place. I think the 2018 was obviously, you know, breaking through like that was just I suppose carnage to be honest like but this year was it may rate higher I think yeah yeah well, actually wasn't too bad at all to be honest um, I don't know what it was like in the stand but there was a bit of a breeze so like <laughs> to be honest I don't like the heat any most days anyway so not to mind playing an all-earned final but it was actually grand I think we spoke about it during the week we played the Munster final last year but on Park and Creek, which was a scarce rubber that was way worse like um, so it's not today it was, it was fine Yeah. 
Yeah, sure. I don't know. I don't know what to say about those questions. Uh, the three in a row for the group is serious achievement. Like it's the standard of hurling in the in the country is amazing, and, and to be able to, I suppose, back it up year in year, year out is you know a testament to the lads and the hard work. And I suppose the the hunger that's still there in the group. It'd be easy to roll over and say, ah, we kind of have enough now, and let somebody else do it. But uh, there's great hunger there and, and drive on. Like, yeah. Yeah, sure. Look, it's a nice achievement to have, but it's funny as a player. Like, you kind of just your job is to do the job for the team. Like, and individual accolades or anything like that are they're not irrelevant. But when you're still playing, they kind of are. Like, so look, I'm overjoyed as for the group and everyone winning. And obviously, it's a nice piece of history for me. But it is always about the group, and it has to be about the group. The group, otherwise, we wouldn't be where we are. Uh, no, I wouldn't say so. I don't think it would have. Like, um, but I think the short season is fine. Like, I think players are, I suppose, so fit now that they can play a week in, week out if they want to. Like, and the two week break from the semi final final is fine. I suppose we had the four weeks from the Munster final to the semi final, and it worked out fine for us as well. So I do think the short season works better. I know talking to my club mates, they're delighted to know when they're playing. Uh, I think we're back next week. So <laughs> maybe, maybe they could spread that break out as well a bit more. But uh, in terms of the inter county season finishing finish in July, I don't see any issue with it.